Welcome. In this video, we will break down the top 10 best places to live in North Dakota, almost perfectly rectangular and sharing a border with Canada. North Dakota is small but mighty. If you had to guess which American state has the second best economy, chances are you wouldn't say, North Dakota. But thanks to an oil drilling boom in 2016, little old North Dakota's economy flourished and looks set to stay that way too. Unemployment rates are at a staggeringly low 3.2% meaning North Dakota has the lowest unemployment rates of all 50 states. The smallest city in North Dakota, called Maza, is home to just five permanent residents. There are no towns or villages in the state, regardless of size, every place is a city. Funnily enough, Maza doesn't make our top 10. We have collected together the 10 best places to live in North Dakota by listening to locals, reading up on rankings and assessing the infrastructure so you can get on with the decision of where to buy your next home. Here are the best places to live in North Dakota. Number 10. Lincoln Within easy reach of Bismarck Airport, Lincoln just falls short of the top 10 places to live in North Dakota. A staggering 97% of the small population of 3,093 people live in owned homes. Unsurprisingly this has sent the median rent rocking up to $1,100 making it one of the most expensive areas in North Dakota to rent a property, and in all honesty, the properties here aren't great value for money for the tenants either. Despite this. Lincoln is ranked as the best place for millennials in North Dakota, with residents referencing the good schools, low crime rates and proximity to Bismarck as their top three reasons for wanting to live here. Number 9. Beulah Schooling in Beulah is certainly not of the high standard found in Grand Forks but with good jobs, decent cost of living and ample housing. If you are an empty nester then Beulah could be a contender. Median rent is a little higher here than the rest of the state, at $609, it's still well below the national average, however. With 3,286 people calling this Mercer County neighborhood home, there is very much a community feel to the area with one of the state's lowest crime rates to match. Little Beulah is ranked as the best place to buy a house in North Dakota and the second safest place in the state too. As such, this area is popular with millennials, although this hasn't made the population all that diverse, yet. Number 8. Valley City Flying daily, across the state, to Devil's Lake and to Denver, Colorado, Valley City is well connected in the air and on the ground. Another stop along Highway 94, Valley City is 35 minutes east of Jamestown and an hour west of Fargo. This tight-knit community welcome newcomers and if you are looking to get on the property ladder, anywhere in the US, then Valley City may just be the place to do it. Median home value is just $89,800. And with rent averaging $575, City Valley would be a great place to lay low and save for your own home. Valley City is transected by a tributary of Lake Ashtabula and there are many parks and community fields for residents to enjoy at their leisure. Number 7. Jamestown With its very own domestic airport, connecting you to Pittsburgh in just 55 minutes. Jamestown is a great little commuter town, rather, city. Perfectly equidistant from Bismarck and Fargo, Jamestown is right on Highway 94, from anywhere in the city you can be on the highway running east or west within half an hour. Great cost of living, matched with job opportunities, as well as access to health and fitness facilities. If you enjoy suburban living and want to be able to afford your own home then Jamestown may just be the place for you, with median home value at an agreeable $109,300, it is not aspirational to think about buying a property here. Number 6. Devil's Lake They say you shouldn't judge a book by its cover nor should you judge a place by its name. Devil's Lake marginally misses out on the top 5 best places to live in North Dakota but lies comfortably in the top 10. Definitely more suburban than Horace, Devil's Lake is an ideal location for people looking to rent a property, 
with median rents a minimal $524 per month. Moreover, with a rent to ownership ratio of nearly 1 to 1, there are plenty of properties out there available for tenants to move in right away. If you want to get out on the water there are ample opportunities to do so on the lake itself. Fishing is a favorite local pastime, with casinos and hunting being the next most popular hobbies. Devil's Lake is perhaps a more of a senior neighborhood than it is family oriented. Number 5. Taurus Happily coming fifth in our 10 best places to live in North Dakota is Horace. With a population of just 2,500 people, in any other state we would be referring to Horace as a village, a small town perhaps, but nevertheless, we are in North Dakota so this tiny, rural community is officially considered a city. There is something about Horace that makes you feel immediately at home. This is reflected by the 95% of the residents who lived in an owned home. Resultantly, median home values here spiral up to $244,900. However, and this is a big however, the median rent is still $740, on par with Bismarck. The only downside is that rental properties are few and far between. Horace is widely considered as the best place to raise a family in North Dakota and in official rankings comes in a competitive second best place to buy a house in the state. You just might be waiting a while for the right house to come on the market. Number 4. Grand Forks In a firm fourth place comes Grand Forks, tucked away to the east, right on the border with Minnesota Grand Forks is home to a diverse population of 54,944 people. A reasonable cost of living teamed with great public schools and varied nightlife too, all boost the appeal of Grand Forks. This city can proudly boast 5A rated schools, offering your little ones a great education, as well as a fantastic range of extracurricular activities. Median home value is very similar to Fargo lying around $163,800. That said, $149,900 will get you a quaint four-bed, three-bathroom home with a generous garden, connected to Central Grand Forks by reliable bus routes. Number 3. Bismarck Coming in a fair third place is the North Dakota capital, Bismarck. The state capital stands tall above the city below in a modern, Art Deco style. Bismarck is a great place to raise a family, close to the Missouri River and the Dakota Zoo too. Falling well within the top 10 places for millennial in North Dakota, Bismarck's house prices are a little less agreeable than Fargo, with median home value hitting $183,100. Despite this difference, 64% of the 66,980 population live in owned homes. Median rent comes in at $752 a month, well below the national average, which explains the millennial appeal. With live bands or DJ sets every weekend and most weeknights too, throughout the city there is plenty to keep you entertained and socializing. Number 2. West Fargo Fargo, West Fargo it's all about Fargo in North Dakota. In terms of crime levels, West Fargo is much safer than Fargo itself. It is a toss-up when it comes to schooling. If you are a parent then the schools in Fargo have a slightly higher rating of B+, whereas West Fargo is simply rated as B. A small difference for some but a deciding factor for others. As a commuter, this neighborhood is located ideally close to Highway 94. A property in West Fargo would see you get onto the highway in less time than Fargo itself, which is particularly useful during rush hour. Median rent in Fargo and West Fargo are essentially the same, but property here in West Fargo is on average $5,200 more expensive. However, being a bit more suburban, you will find properties come with bigger gardens and larger driveways too. Number 1. Fargo Providing the backdrop for hit TV series Fargo, the city of Fargo is as icy cold in winter as the show would suggest. With a population of 113,464 people, this city happily retains its small town fill while providing in plenty all the amenities and facilities every major city needs. 
as stereotypical as it sounds, being the Midwest, the residents of Fargo are friendly and welcoming. If you are as open and chatty as they are, you'll find it no trouble getting a job around here. In all honesty, the major downside to Fargo is the crime rates, still significantly lower than the national average but way high than say, Burlington in Vermont. This could be a stick in the mud for some people considering relocating here.